inside this box is PewDiePie's actual 100 million red diamond play button. And I don't mean a replica 100 million play button like this thing. I also don't mean an authentic second version like my KSI diamond play button. Inside this box is the original 100 million award that PewDiePie himself unboxed in September 2019. And in this video, of course, I'm going to unbox this award. Then I'm going to explain how I actually got my hands on this thing because, spoiler alert, I'm not borrowing this award. I purchased this award. After that, we'll be taking a look at PewDiePie's opinion on me having this. And then finally, I'll be reuniting the play button with the briefcase it originally arrived in. Because yes, I have that as well. If you're new here, you've got a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> So first, let's just get straight into it. Let's actually unbox this award. I am so excited. I cannot believe this thing is actually in my house. This is like the biggest piece of YouTube history that there is. Now this came all the way from America and it was not easy getting it here. When it arrived, this is genuine. It was handed to me by the delivery person like this. It's popping out at the sides. And the delivery guy was like, careful mate, it's hanging out. It's hanging out? This is PewDiePie's 100 million play button. And when I grabbed it off him, I heard this noise. <laughs> Now, in all fairness, that isn't too concerning because we all know in an infamous Luai episode, the red centerpiece did actually just fall out because Society Awards didn't glue it down properly. Nice one, by the way, guys. It's not like it's the biggest achievement that's ever happened on YouTube or anything. And PewDiePie never fixed it. For a while, he just sat the centerpiece on top of it. <laughs> So maybe now we've got it, we could glue it back together, but I kind of feel like it's more authentic leaving it broken, you know? Okay, here we go. I'm genuinely shaking a bit, I'm not gonna lie. This is crazy. Right, we are in, we are in. For the last two years, I've been trying to collect every piece of YouTube memorabilia that I could. I never once thought that a 100 million play button would be achievable. And yet here it is. Let's take out the bubble wrap. Okay, it looks like maybe I should lift it out of the box. Okay, here we go. This is it. It's heavy. It is very heavy. It's actually pretty much the same weight as the replica that I had commissioned. <laughs> I got this made from scratch a year ago using the dimensions from the real briefcase and today we'll actually be able to compare how accurate this is to the real thing. Okay, should I just keep unfolding the bubble wrap? I guess so. I've got my first glimpse of red. <laughs> oh my god! Keep rotating round. We can see the red even more clearly. Oh my god. <sighs> Right, you know what? I'm gonna dip my hand in. I'm gonna see if I can pull out the red centerpiece. Okay, I'm touching it. I am touching it. <gasps> it's chipped. It is chipped, which makes sense. We saw the way it'd been handled. I don't know if that happened before it was sent to me. I'm assuming it probably happened on the way, but oh my god, it is beautiful. What's the size like? It's so accurate. So this is authentic Baccarat crystal that is handcrafted in some weird vintage French factory. It is ridiculously expensive and I've chipped it. It wasn't me. It was it was bloody the postman, all right? I'm confident I can glue that back together. That isn't too big a deal. Okay, I'm ripping into it. Here we go. <laughs> I am looking at my reflection in PewDiePie's 100 million play button. How is this real? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I found a bit of crystal. There it is. Oh god, there's another bit. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, we could glue that. We could glue that. And <laughs> here it is. Right, we need to put our gloves on and then we're going to polish it up with an official Society Awards diamond play button cloth. This is absolutely beautiful oh my god i haven't even looked at the back yet let me put the centerpiece in <laughs> wow compare it to my replica there we go we can see that it's the crystal that throws this off because mine's just red glass whereas this is actual crystal okay is it time to look at the back of it i'm gonna show you guys before i show myself are you ready <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, that is a scratch. Let me zoom in for you. And there it is. PewDiePie. Congratulations on passing 100,000 subscribers. And then we've got the YouTube logo. And then we've got a big scratch as well. Once again, I want to give a big shout out to Parcel Force. I wonder if I could stick the crystal together temporarily with a bit of blue tack. All right, here we go. Uh, very advanced stuff. And <laughs> in you go. Give it a nice polish. Here we are. Oh, it's actually cleaned up quite well. And there we are. I cannot believe this. Is, how is this hap- In what world did we actually get our hands- <laughs> Okay, well now we've unboxed 
the rarest piece of YouTube history. There's what, three of these in the world? T-Series has one, Corko Melon has one, and now, for some reason, I've got one. Jack Sucks at Life recently surpassed two million subscribers. Thank you so much, by the way. While that is an incredible milestone, it is only 2% of the way to earning one of these with my name on it. And I think that really puts into perspective how big of an achievement this was for PewDiePie. At the end of this video, I will reunite this play button with the briefcase that it originally came in, but now I think I'm overdue talking about how the hell I got my hands on one of these. We got a hundred million play button before Mr. Beast got a hundred million play button. How ridiculous is that? So how did PewDiePie's play button go from safely sat sideways in the background of his office to sat right behind some scrawny English person on top of his play button stack? Yeah, that's right, KSI. You've been relegated, mate. Old news. 10 million, 10 schmillion. Who gives a crap? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> well, two months ago, people start sending me this video. PewDiePie sent me his 100 million play button. And basically, to put it simply, a loyal subscriber of PewDiePie's who's featured in many Lawai episodes for the past couple of years got married, and because Felix doesn't like to hold value in materialistic objects, he decided as a wedding gift, he'd give Lizard Lava the play button. Now, Lizard Lava quite quickly posted a picture of the play button over on my subreddit, and then reached out to him and asked if he'd potentially be interested in me borrowing the play button just so that I could reunite it with the briefcase. Because because yes, a year and a half ago, I stumbled upon this briefcase on eBay because someone found it in the trash. And as an avid play button collector, of course I purchased it. And Lizard Lava kindly said, yes, you can borrow it for a video, providing you can get me 100k subscribers. Because getting channels to 100k subscribers is kind of my thing, you see. Now, I did try and get him to 100k subscribers, but I'll be honest, we fell short at 87k. We only got him extra 60k subs. Come on, guys, pull your finger out your asses a bit. But Lizard Lava holds onto the play button for a while. He starts thinking about things. He starts getting some messages from different people and he basically comes to what I describe as a pretty sensible adult conclusion. If he sells this play button that was originally a wedding gift, he could have enough money to support him and his new wife so that they have enough money for a deposit for their very first house and buying a house is like the biggest thing that most people ever do in their lives. So from my perspective, someone messages me saying, hey, you want to buy a hundred million play button? There's only like three of them in the world. What am I going to say? And it's pretty much as simple as that. Now, what does PewDiePie think about all this? Well, he uploaded a video a month ago called why I gave away my hundred million award and in that video, Felix said this to me I just felt like it was a thing that had too much importance to it that I didn't want to it's too much. I don't want it. It's not mine anymore. Whatever happens to it, I don't care. He doesn't care. It's as simple as that. So from that, I assume that giving away something that you're not bothered about, and in doing so, being able to change the life of one of your most loyal subscribers ever, I assume he'd be fine with Lizard Lava selling the award. And if anything, he potentially expected that would be a possibility. However, if PewDiePie is watching this, which potentially he might, uh, that's be scary. If you're not happy with me having this award for whatever reason, you want it back, or you want me to send it somewhere else, I will do that. That That is completely fine. Even though I have huge respect for PewDiePie as a creator, and I've watched his videos for like six years, I didn't buy this award specifically for PewDiePie. I purchased it because for the last three years, I've been dedicating my life to collecting awards. And that's not because I want to hold an unhealthy amount of value in inanimate objects. It's because it's fun. I've managed to get so many different awards in so many different and creative ways, in ways that I never thought would be possible. And it has been an incredible experience. And to get the 100 million play button is absolutely insane. All right, there's only one thing left to do, and that is to reunite the 100 million red diamond briefcase with the 100 million red diamond play button. As far as I'm aware, the last time that this beautiful play button was inside of this briefcase was September 2019, when Felix himself first revealed the award to the internet. That video now has 69 million views, making it the second most viewed play button video on the internet. The only video to beat it in views is PewDiePie's 50 million unboxing, which has 89 million views. Anyway, this briefcase was thrown out by PewDiePie, a waste disposal fella found it a few weeks later, they whacked it on eBay, and of course I purchased it. Since then it's been sat behind me in videos, but now it finally gets to be reunited with its original award. I can't believe it. I never thought I'd be able to do this. Okay, I slide it into frame. There we go. And now, here we go. PewDiePie's 100 million play button reunited. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. It's a tight fit and it's in. <laughs> Now I definitely need to give it a polish, this poor play button has been through a rough time the last few weeks as it has travelled all the way through the United States and now we go ahead and we seal up the 100 million red diamond play button. Oh my god! I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. 
Well, you know what? I don't think that's a bad first video of 2022, is it? Thank you very much for watching. Thanks again for 2 million subscribers. Subscribe if you're new to the channel because we do interesting stuff like this all the time. Alright, thanks a lot. I'll see you later. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh my god. <laughs>